everyone. I, my name is Elizabeth Welsh, and if you are seeing this video, it's probably because you have seen my blog on what does it mean to bruise easily. And I want to talk to you, not so much about all that, but I want to recount a story about my mother and uh, what she died of and how upsetting it was to me because I saw so many horrible symptoms back then that uh, were associated with her disease. And she had a blood disorder called hemochromatosis, which is basically too much iron in the blood. And one of the signs that I found very disturbing was that she did bruise extremely easily and they were horrible, big, huge, black bruises up and down her legs and on her arms. And I thought, you know, my God, what the heck's going on here? This is really scary. And what's, you know, they're not going away too easily. And for a while I was mollified because I noticed that my aunt had the same problem. So we thought, okay, well, you know, you're getting older, maybe you bruise a bit easier and what, bruise a bit easier. And so I kind of let that one slide. And then it came time for her to have a hip operation. And they delayed the operation because of a very distended liver. And nothing was done about that. They accused her of being an alcoholic, which was very, very distressing because she certainly was anything but. Um, yes, of course, she drank, but she would, you know, it was a social little drinking now and then, but um, certainly not an alcoholic, and this doctor definitely said, you know, we can't, we can't operate safely, which is okay, very well and dandy, uh, until you have um, had a, re you know, re this is reduced. So that's, as time went on, I think, uh, she did get somewhat better, but better enough to be able to have the operation. And it was successful enough, a uh, good operation, but she never really totally recovered like she had from her first hip operation. And over time, um, her stomach got more distended and things got worse and it started to uh, show up and she was so tired and she was uh, not able to do all the things that she absolutely loved doing, which was being out walking and hiking and and uh, being with her friends. And uh, that was back in 1991. And I was very, very pregnant with my daughter and couldn't really be of much help, which hurt me even more. <laughs> Here's my mother, who was such an energetic woman, and here I am. Uh, and we went into hospital at the same time. Uh, and she died a month later. Hemochromatosis could have been controlled if we had known uh, way back in the early 80s, if we had known that that bruising was part of that disease. We might have been able to help her with proper nutrition and uh, the doctors could have helped her with the, one of the things for uh, hemochromatosis is that you have bloodletting every month. Um, they could have done things, not necessarily with medication, but with that. There was probably medication involved too, but I don't know what. Uh, hindsight, uh, a lot of the B vitamins probably were very, very lacking in her. I know she was on Indesid for, um, for arthritis and things like that. Uh, she was on all kinds of horrible things uh, that hindsight I would not recognize to be a lack of the B vitamins and that is something I really want to bring to your attention is if you are bruising and you're really seriously bruising for, please go and have it checked out uh, I would hate to have anybody go through what she went through because it was very very hurtful and so unnecessary uh, so if you've seen my blog, uh, go through it, uh, click on the, uh, on the uh, highlighted areas. Uh, they will take you to sites uh, that uh, have vitamins that 
will uh, address some of those issues. And uh, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.